This is the grade three math practice test for TN Ready. This is question number five on the 2019-2020 version of the test. Which equations are true? Choose two correct answers. See how they have this in bold here? It's trying to remind you that you need to pick two answers for this one. If you don't pick two answers, it's going to be counted incorrect. Generally speaking, um, we're not 100% sure if they give you full credit or not, whatever they say, but assume that you're going to have to get them both correct to earn full points. And that's what we want here, full points. So the first question says 9 times 2 equals 16. This is one of those questions where if you know your facts, it will take no time at all. And if you don't, it could be a problem. So let's assume you know your facts. Well, 9 times 2 should be 18. So this is out. Now, I don't even have to know the division fact as long as I understand the relationship with the multiplication fact. So I have 72 divided by 9 equals 8. Well, I can check this. 8 times 9 is 72, so this one's looking pretty good. I'm going to fill this circle in. As you can see, I still haven't gotten very good at putting the circles in, even after the number of years I've been doing it. 9 times 6 is 54, so that's out. And you'll notice that m all these questions are nines. So if you learn the nines um, on your ten fingers situation, where you have the the hands, obviously I'm a terrible hand drawer. Spoiler alert, I'm just a terrible artist in general, f visual artist anyway. That's okay. I'm not here to judge myself. That one's even worse, but I'm left-handed. It's hard to move that way. Um, anyway, so I have 9 times 2. I go 1, 2, so I take out this in front. I have one finger. See how there's one that's... You'll put this finger down, basically. You put your 10 fingers out in front. And afterwards, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 18. If I wanted to do... Of course, it eliminated this whole monstrosity. It gives me a chance to fix it, I guess. Still terrible. Whatever. <laughs> 8 times 9 is 72. I can check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this only works with the 9s, by the way. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in front. And then afterwards, I have 1, 2. So that is a correct answer. If I was doing... Uh, 9 and 6, I'd do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so I would get rid of this one. I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this is 9 times 6. 50, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 before that one. I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 before that one. Sheesh, I was counting to 6 again. And then afterwards, I'd have this one. This one would be back up now, this one and this one, so 54. So the 9 and 63 stuff doesn't make any sense to this problem, so that one is also out. So B and D are the correct answers for this one. You probably have seen the 9 on your fingers thing before. If you're taking a test and you use it and somebody looks at you weird, don't worry about it. It's okay. The whole point is you want to do the best that you can do, and if you have to use your fingers to help you count, who cares? Like, that's not a big deal. Some people have to do it. It's fine. Again, it's the third grade. You have plenty of times to get it all in your head and pretend that everything's cool. Um, but if you need to use it, feel free to do so. Again, also having the multiplication facts memorized is probably your best strategy, but at the same time, sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't really work, and uh, it might make it a little easier to have a strategy for those times when you need them.